Many patients who contract COVID-19 develop pneumonia, and in some cases, cases, they don't realize they have pneumonia until it's very hard for them to catch their breath. A small medical device can help patients monitor those oxygen levels at home so they can have an early warning if their lugs aren't working properly. Health reporter Haley Hernandez joins us now with more on that. Hi, Haley. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, a little controversial among doctors, but at first, you know, pulse oximeters, they were flying off the shelves along with toilet paper. They are mostly back in stock, so now the question is, should should you get one? For Brad Weaver and his 18 year old daughter Emma, COVID 19 means they have to be extra vigilant. Emma is special needs, nonverbal. She needs assistant walking and so forth. And so she's at high risk. Since Emma cannot tell her dad if she's not feeling well, Brad takes her temperature under her arm and uses this to monitor Emma's blood oxygen levels. This is the pulse oximeter. It has a digital readout. The pulse oximeter can detect even small changes in the way lungs move oxygen to the rest of the body. Emergency medicine physician Richard Levitin has worked with COVID patients and says he's been shocked by some. They had oxygen saturations as low as 50%. Normal is above 94%. And they were talking to us. They were not in shock. Uh, they were not lethargic. The thing that their body had done, which they didn't even realize, was in order to accommodate this low oxygen, they were silently breathing faster. And they were doing that for days until all of a sudden they developed shortness of breath. Dr. Levitin recommends using pulse oximeters if patients are at high risk. He says it could help recognize the early signs of COVID pneumonia. Although that is not the normal recommendation because for most people, they'll feel short of breath and know they need medical help without needing to know their oxygen levels. Oh, let's go real high. But it does give families like the Weavers a little peace of mind. So pulse oximeters are available over the counter at most drugstores. They range in cost from about $40 to $70. The device is most often used on your index finger, looking for a normal oxygen range of about 95 to 100. But um, there's also been some inconsistent studies on whether nail polish or fake nails could alter the results. So again, for most families, it's best to rely on doctors to determine how to proceed based on your oxygen levels. And when it does come to the spread of coronavirus, doctors know there are some people who are more contagious than others. They've been trying to figure out who they are and why. This morning we might finally have the answer coming up at 630 what the World Health Organization has discovered and how that could change contact tracing moving forward. Owen. Right. Uh, and we'll see what there's always a caveat these days. So anyway, thanks Haley. We'll be looking for it.